I'm Rita Heikenfeld with AboutEating.com. One thing I have in my kitchen that all my friends and family say I have too many of are spatulas. I remember my mom, she had one bowl to mix salad in and no spatulas. Actually, she did finally get one of those white rubber ones. That every time she put it in her hot stew, the tip would melt. They've come a long way since then. And these spatulas are very heat resistant, some up to 400 degrees. I love the shape of this. It's called a spoonula. What I also love about each of these is the handle comes off for easy cleaning. How cool is that? It's really a good, good way to keep bacteria away. Now, the nice thing, too, about spatulas is the way they're shaped is you can get in the corner of pans like this. Just, this is just a, <clears throat> excuse me, a gravy actually left over from roast beef last night. So spatulas allow you to get in the corners and also to scrape the sides. Another great thing about spatulas, <clears throat> excuse me, wooden, I call this a wooden spatula, it's actually a spoon that's wooden. But look at the shape of that. See how it's angled? Again, when you are working with sauces and gravies and you need to see how thick they are, see how that channel, it, it, it hits the bottom of the pan, allows you to see how thick the gravy or sauce is, and it really, again, works its way into the sides of the pan. Wonderful. Now, we've talked about spatulas. What about whisks? Which whisk is which? Again, I have several whisks, and they all have a purpose. I don't have a lot, but I have ones that I need. This, let's start out with a real basic whisk. Look at the way this is shaped, and it's non-stick, too, for those non-stick pans. I use this a lot at Thanksgiving when I'm making my uh, gravy in my roasting pan. The shape of this is flat. You not only get around the sides, but you get around the whole bottom of the pan so you can pick up all the fawn, those little brown bits that create a wonderful gravy. Now, some whisks are used for beating air. Some are not. Look at this. Now, isn't this an interesting whisk? This, you hold it straight up, and the way it's shaped, if you look at the corners, gets around the edges of that pan. And this is a straight-sided pan. So this is a wonderful whisk for stirring. Not so good for whipping, but for stirring sauces and gravies. It's really wonderful. And now we have some other whisk. This whisk is good, oh my gosh, for a multitude of tasks. You could use it to whisk gravies. I call this my workhorse whisk because it's also wonderful to make vinaigrettes. And if you look, the oil and the vinegar, this helps make a perfect emulsion just by the shape of it. It doesn't create too much air in there. That's what a balloon whisk does. Look at the shape of this whisk versus this whisk. A balloon whisk is great when you're whip whipping cream by hand, if anybody does that anymore because the shape of it is shaped like a balloon. So if I were to, if you were to wait here for about 10 minutes, see how it's incorporating air? Look at all those bubbles. That's what a balloon whisk does. The other whisks wouldn't do that. See, it's just sort of stirring it around. So which whisk is which? Here we go. Which whisk is which? You decide, but make sure you have the right whisk for the right task. Thank you.